Hi guys, for today's video, I have with me the Louis Vuitton on the go tote in the MM size. So originally, I got this bag in the GM size and after using it for about a week, I realized that it was a little too overwhelming for my frame. So I ended up rehoming that handbag. This one was released in late 2019 and I was so happy when Louis Vuitton said that they were going to make a medium or the MM size for the on the go tote. But as many of you know, when a bag is very, very popular from Louis Vuitton, it is next to impossible to find. And even though I was searching in different stores, I really could not find or get my hands on this handbag. So fast forward to 2020, of course, we had the coronavirus issue and then we had we went on lockdown and I really just kind of lost interest in handbags altogether. So I really wasn't thinking anymore about this handbag. But last week, my SA from Louis Vuitton called me up and she asked me if I would still be interested in this handbag because they had available stocks in store. So I thought about it and I told her, um, maybe just give me some time to think about it. I'll get back to her. But then I decided after five minutes to call her back and say, yes, I do want that handbag. And that is how this one ended up in my collection. So in today's video, I'll be talking a little bit about the details of this handbag as well as what can fit on the inside, how I have been using it. And I will also be giving some mod shots. So let's begin first with the details of this handbag. This is the Louis Vuitton on the go tote in the giant monogram collection and this is the medium or the MM size. In terms of design aesthetics for this handbag, the first thing that you will really notice is the large monogram print. And for me, I thought to myself that the monogram print might be a little bit too loud for my liking, but the more that I use the handbag, the more I actually like it. And I think the reason for that is because the monogram print is in a very muted sort of brown. So on one side, it is in a deep color brown. On the other side, it is in this caramel brown. But because it is in monochromatic shades and there's no really loud color on the handbag except for the inside, Side where it is lined in red it gives a more vintage sort of vibe so I really really like the way that they were able to put all of the color combinations on this handbag and yeah just make it look very very classy to the side of the handbag they actually have just the regular size monogram so one side is the deeper brown and then on the other side is the caramel brown and I really really do like the reverse monogram print I find that it is a very good take on the classic monogram with giving it just a little bit of an update the Louis Vuitton on the go tote has a very boxy structure and I think I really like the boxy structure because it allows you to really maximize what you can put on the inside of your handbag. To the bottom of the tote, it doesn't have any feet, which was kind of worrisome at first, but then I thought about it, this bag is in canvas anyways, so it is more carefree of a handbag, and if anything happened, like if it got a spill or something, I could easily wipe it off. The canvas is also very durable and it's scratch resistant anyways, so I don't have to really worry too much about babying the handbags. In terms of the handles, it has two types of handles. So it has this short handle right here and then it also has the long handle on the inside in which you can carry it as a regular shoulder bag. So the only thing about this handle is it is a little bit short in terms of, well, if I'm carrying it like right now, this is perfectly fine. But I think if I had a winter coat and then I had to put this on, I would find the handles of this a little bit short as compared to the GM size. The other thing that I really like about this handbag in terms of its structure is that it actually has rivets right here. So it kind of closes the handbag at the top part. So you can see to the side, it makes more of an A-line shape. And this rivet really just helps in terms of the security. So I find that my handbag is not really, really open. Like if you have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, you know that you will have that problem of the bag opening so wide that just just anybody can look inside and grab something very easily while this one since it does have that and it's making more of an a-line shape at the top part 
like the top part right there it feels a little bit more secure and then the other security thing that it has right here is it does have this lock which is exactly the same as the Neverfull so you could just lock it for added security I've actually not used it simply because well I don't know I get a little bit lazy but anyways I do like the fact that it's there if I just decide that I want to lock up the bag a little bit more so one of the things that I found that I didn't really like with the larger on-the-go tote is that sometimes it would make a crease right here especially if you had just bought your bag new or it had been stored because you could like collapse the bag with the mm tote you don't really have that option it just really you have to sit it down like this or you have to store it away like this and you cannot uh, fold the bag itself but because of that it does really really maintain its shape a lot nicer as compared to the on the go tote in the mm in the gm size so anyways to the inside of the handbag it does have a zippered compartment right here uh, it is in the red canvas lining so it has two slip pockets and then it has a zippered compartment I would suggest to actually use this with a handbag organizer but I still don't have one with it and even if you don't use it with a handbag organizer I think that the structure is still okay it does feel like it has like a slight bit of cardboard right here but it's not super um, it's not super structured at the bottom so you might want to put another lining or something especially if you are carrying a little bit of heavy stuff on the inside moving on to what fits on the inside of this handbag so this one fits quite a bit it's exactly the same as the neverfull i think it can actually contain more than the neverfull at first i was hoping that it would fit in my 13 inch macbook pro but unfortunately it doesn't the only macbook that it will fit is the macbook air so if you are thinking of using it as a laptop bag unfortunately it can only fit up until the macbook air and i think that's the smaller size macbook air so what i've been doing instead with this handbag is really just keeping in all of my essentials for the new normal i guess and really the things that i would bring out on my errand day so let me first go through the stuff that I have in here. The first one, of course, is my rain jacket. I think this one is from Uniqlo. And I do try to wear things with long sleeves now, especially when we go out, um, just so just so that, you, you know, with the coronavirus and everything, I do like something that is in this sort of nylon material just to be a little bit more protected. So that's the first thing that I have inside of this handbag. The next thing that I have in here is more handbags. Actually, these are echo bags that I use for whenever I do my grocery runs. So I have two echo bags on the inside here. And yeah, I've been using this bag whenever I do my groceries or I do some banking and stuff like that or else I really don't leave the house all that much anymore so next inside this handbag is um, so I have some I have a face shield basically and then I also have wet wipes so the face shield just to be compliant some places require you to be wearing a face shield when uh, you walk in not only just not only just the mask but right now they also require the face shield so I have that I also have an umbrella on the inside of this and then I have also another Louis Vuitton but actually on the inside of this dust bag is more face masks so I also have that on the inside right here and then I do also contain uh, keep alcohol and then I have my hand lotion so that's basically what I keep on the inside of this handbag. So it can contain quite a bit and that's the way that I have been using it. I just keep all of these stuff on the inside of my handbag and then when I really need to run an errand, I'll just throw in my house keys, throw in my wallet and I would be good to go. Moving on to mod shots and this bag actually has two sets of straps. It has the shorter strap and of course it has the shoulder strap which makes it very very convenient. So for the shorter strap you can just put it in your hands or you can wear it on the crook of your arm and it sits very comfortably in the crook of your arm. If you are going to wear it as a shoulder bag this is very comfortable as well but like I mentioned before the shoulder straps are a little bit short as compared to the GM size. 
So for me, since I don't usually wear a coat, it is perfectly fine. But if you do have a winter coat, I think that this might be a little bit of a struggle, especially if you are taller than me. So for height reference, I am 5 feet 4. Okay guys, so that is it for the Louis Vuitton on the go tote in the MM size. Overall, I would say that this is a very practical handbag to use. And even though it cannot contain my laptop, which is a total bummer, it can only contain the smaller laptop, I still find myself reaching for this handbag because it's just so convenient for everything else. Also, I'd like to say that with the addition of these shoulder straps, this is such a game changer. As compared to other book totes out there, this shoulder strap really just makes this so much more convenient and it just makes this bag so much more useful. Anyways, that is my conclusion for this handbag. If you enjoyed this week's video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in all things luxury, please consider subscribing as well to my channel. I do weekly videos on handbags and other designer items anyways guys please do take care and i will see all of you in a future video bye bye